Assalamu alaikum. How are you all, my lovely kids? I hope you enjoyed the first lesson we had. Let me remind you, it was about healthy food. I hope you had a good week and you had healthy food. Since you can't find any samosas outside, nothing is available. So I'm sure everybody is eating homemade food. And that's the most healthiest food. So, but I told you in my previous lesson that healthy food will keep you strong, will not fall you ill. You will, will not have to go to the doctor again and again because your diet intake is good. You are eating fruits. Mama is making clean and neat, nice food, tasty food. So, this way you are going to be very, very healthy. Now, the second topic I have selected is living and growing. Now what do you mean by living? Anything that is alive, that can move, that can speak, that grows, that eats, that takes in air is living. Okay? And growing. They grow. They are living alright and they are growing. So our lesson is about living and growing. So we are going to see what are the living things and then if it is living, the opposite of living is non-living. We will also see a little bit of non-living things and we will see what are the living things. I hope and then remember every living thing grows. It becomes big. Humans, even you and I, we get big. Plants get big. A, a little bird lays an egg. The egg hatches and a little baby comes out and that baby also gets big. So every living thing gets big. Let's go to the next. Living things grow. What do you mean grow? They get big in size. They get big in size. That means living things are growing. Look at the first picture. A little baby. Look at the second picture. The same baby has grown a little bit tall. In the first picture the baby is sitting and the baby is putting the hands up asking someone to carry him because he cannot walk. He doesn't have steady, he doesn't have balance, his legs are not steady enough. In the second picture he is standing on its own and showing us some of his toys also. He says, look, I am big now. I have grown big and I can stand. Look at the third one. What happens here? The third picture he says that I am quite a big boy. I can dress on my own. I am well dressed. Maybe going to school also. Maybe a, a student of pre-nursery or nursery. So he is proud to show himself Look at the fourth one. The fourth picture says, Hey, I have started going to school. See my book. And he's happy. Can you see a smile on his face? Yes, he's happy because he's a big boy now and he has started going to school. Oh, oh look at the fifth picture. Now here, he says, I am a grown-up boy. Right? I am big now. I am in a bigger class. See his hands in his pocket? And he's trying to tell you and me. 
I'm big now. I'm a grown-up child. I can do everything. I'm good in sports. I can do cycling. So you see the stages. See how the little one, the second one is a little bit taller. Third is taller than the second. Then the fourth is taller than the third. And the fifth one is the tallest. So here they are living. So they are growing. It's the same case with plants. It's the same case with uh, animals, insects. If they are living, they grow. If they have life, living means they have life. You see, they, they can smell, they have the senses, they can feel hungry, they can see, they can hear, they can touch. You see, everything is happening. Let's see what is the next. What are living things and non-living things? What do living things need? Now, first thing we know what are living things. Living things are things that can eat, that can breathe, that can move, that gets big are called living things. And what are the non-living things? What do living things need? Look at the first one. Living things eat. Every living thing needs food. They cannot live without food. They need to eat. Even a plant. Plant does not have a mouth. But it is also taking food from the roots. It takes food from the soil, from the earth and sending it to the whole tree. Because it is a living thing. Living things breathe. You see, living things, they breathe. They take air. If you close your no nose, what happens? You are suffering. So, what we do, we take air from our nose and then it goes to our lungs. It cleans our blood and then we take out the dirty air. Living things eat, living things breathe. Oh, living things grow. They get big. Like that little baby. You saw it when he was born, he, he was just sitting there. And gradually you saw the baby started growing. How did he grow? By eating food. And living things breathe and they grow. They move. They move. Even a mosquito is a living thing. What is their food? Our blood. They have to come and take our blood. They come at night, they prick. They start taking blood. We call them parasites. Any insect that lives on blood are called parasites. So they get if they drink blood and get big. We eat food and get big. Babies drink milk and get big. Then animals also eat, birds also eat, and they also move. They reproduce. Every living thing, they bring their babies. Even a plant. If you go close to a plant, you will see small, small plants of the same kind. They have babies and they also take food from the earth, from the ground and they get big and then they give flowers, they give fruits, they reproduce. So, what are living things and non-living things? Now living things eat, living things breathe, they grow, they move, they reproduce. They have senses, sense of touch, sense of smell, sense of taste, sense of sight, sense of hearing. The five senses 
you must have learned in class KG. Hmm? Madam Amtul must have taught you the five senses. We touch, we smell with our nose, we see with our ears, eyes, we hear with our ears, we feel with our hands. These are called senses. Now these are the qualities of living things. Now, non-living things, they do not eat, they do not breathe, they do not grow, they do not move, they have no senses and they do not reproduce. Non-living things, for example, your desk, your TV, okay, you are watching the TV because this lesson is coming on TV. TV is showing you and you are there. The TV is not going to ask for food. The TV, it doesn't breathe. When you brought the TV, it was the same size. After 10 years, it is the same size. If you keep the TV on the table, it will remain there. It will not move. Then TV does not have eyes, ears, nose, hands. So that means no sensors. And if you keep a big TV on your table, after one year, two years, three years, four years, even after 20 years, only one TV will be there. You will, you will not see another small little baby TVs standing next to the big TV. So that means they do not bring babies. Now these living things, they eat, they breathe, they grow, they move, they reproduce, they have senses, but non-living things do, do not have any of them. Okay, let's see what is Okay, five examples of living things. Let's see what are these five examples of living things. Okay? Let's wait and see what's going to pop up. Living things. I'm giving you five examples. There you are. The first one is birds. Birds, these are Australian birds. There are three lovely colored birds. Sometimes we wear them in the houses also. We make big cages and keep them. Now they are living. They make noise. If you wake up in the morning, you will hear them making noise. Then they eat. We have to give them bajra. We have to give them water because they have to fill their stomach. And then they move. They fly inside the cage. If we keep them in the cage, they fly. If they are outside, still they hunt for food. The next one is insects. You must have seen this. In, uh, this is a ladybird hanging on to a small branch. It's moving. Must be going in. Must be going to hunt food. It's a living thing. All insects are living things. Like mosquitoes are living things. Flies, living things. Even little ants are living things. Next one is animals. You have seen the picture. Can you see the picture of a tiger? The tiger is with its mouth open. Right? Because it's a wild animal. Lives in the jungle. And what is its food? Raw meat. Doesn't eat cooked food. It eats raw. With blood. So what they do? They chase other innocent animals like goats, deer, then even buffalo, they, you find buffalo, jungle buffalo. They run behind them and they catch them and they kill and they eat the meat. That's their diet. Then the next one is trees. Also a living thing. Trees, mango tree is giving us Mangoes, that means it is living. Okay. Then, some trees are giving us flowers. And it's a living thing. And then we put water. 
we put uh, menu, menu means card. You must have seen our Malis putting card to the garden because they are living things. The last picture is a human being. Human being means like you and I. We move, we breathe, we grow, we eat, we run. So these are the five examples of living things. I hope you understood what is the difference between living things and non-living things. There are many non-living things. There are many living things. So now you must be able to identify, differentiate between a living thing and a non-living thing. I hope you understood the lesson and we are going to wind up here. Thank you for listening children. Take care. Bye.